thought it was a good weekend. Uh, you know, we had some solid performances. Again, I thought we took another step forward. We had, you know, on the sprint side, some guys really step up, um, you know, really, you know, watching them race. Uh, they took a huge step forward, really competed um, to the line. Uh, obviously, Nate Trujillo got the win. Uh, Chase Tandy, you know, he competed very well uh, in the, in the 400 meters with a runner up finish with a very solid time that ranks him within the top five in the NSIC. And then, you know, Joseph Green, uh, he had a fantastic race uh, in the 200 meters. So it was a great day for our sprinters. Uh, you know, we had some distance runners, mid distance runners perform very well. Again, they took, uh, sa same as the sprinters took another step forward. We're still, still working out the kinks, I guess, in, in the cobwebs of, of racing, you know, every, every race we're learning something new um, trying to adjust on something we did prior and so I thought it was good for that group um, you know I certainly didn't walk out of the meet with my fist pumping in the air but you know I thought it was progress so every meet you kind of take this opportunity to build yourself up as an athlete who do you think improved from the first one to now the second one over the weekend well you know in the first meet Chase Tandy he ran you know uh, what we would consider like an off event you know his secondary event he ran the 200 meters um, and this past week he you know, didn't have um, the most consistent training week. And so for him to come out and run the, you know, 50 point that he did in the 400 meters and, uh, in, you know, he got a little bit of a conversion since we were at altitude and, and the track type down at Black Hill State converted to just under 50 seconds, um, I thought was phenomenal for him. It ended up being, you know, the 10th fastest time uh, in the country in Division Two for the weekend. And then it was, uh, you know, top rank, ended up being ranked top five uh, in the NSIC for the indoor season. So uh, certainly a great, great, great um, race for him. And, and you know, Nate Trujillo, he was, in, he was in a solid race. He had to lean at the line a little bit in the hurdles. Um, and so for a freshman to, to come in and get his first collegiate victory is, is always big. You know, the hurdle height's a little a little bigger on uh, – a little higher on this level than it is on the high school level. So uh, for him to come in and uh, really go, you know, to the very last uh, millisecond there to, to inch out the win was, was huge for him. So I was very happy. Yeah, I thought our throwers had a, had a good day. Um, I know when speaking with Coach Gust, uh, you know, he thought there was a little more in the tank, and um, but I thought it was a good day. We had some really solid PRs. Some people, you know, Peyton Lammerding and, um, you know, Chloe Gunderson, they threw over a meter PR on, on Saturday, and um, we had, you know, Logan got a small PR on, on Friday night. So, again, another step forward, um, I think, you know, with the training that Coach Gus has seen, um, I think there was a little bit higher expectation, but, um, you know, we, we certainly were, were not hanging our heads by any means, you know, walking out of there in our throws group. I think it speaks volumes. Um, you know, we're uh, finishing higher up uh, in just, you know, every race that we're in. Um, we're in more races, I guess, you know, races that traditionally we have not had people compete in at all. So, uh, you know, in the long run, we're hoping that helps us when we get to a meet where there is team standings and team points on the line like conference. Uh, and, you know, we can actually, sh you know, show that progress. And I think we've seen that in a few meets that have done team scoring. But um, it's been great to see. It's been exciting. Um, it has me more fully engaged like there's no really time off now because we have people competing you know all day versus uh, a couple years ago it was we have a few people competing here and then you know a slew of downtime because we had no one in, in certain events you know now it's just you know you look left you look right we always have someone on the track to um, you know see how they're doing so it's very exciting I think the kids find it exciting um, to see their teammates out there and um, you know, have the distance runners root for the sprinters, the sprinters root for the throwers, and, and you know, those types of things. I think it's created a great atmosphere for, for our group. Talk about Lewis Cotterill. It's his second podium finish and got a victory this last weekend. What has he brought to your team? Um, you know, he is a, a 
first year freshman, but he just started here in January, and um, he's he's uh, had to get adjusted a little bit uh, coming from uh, England. But I thought he's he did a great job this week. Um, we had uh, Tristan Mincius Finnerty pace him um, for the first half of his race, uh, and then you know he stepped off the track and left it up to Lewis to you know close it out. So um, you know, in speaking with Lewis afterwards, we told him, hey, he took a, another step forward. Uh, he was two seconds faster than last week, um, and if he was at sea level, it would have been four seconds faster, all the way down to 159. Um, you know, he, again, is someone who's ranked very high in our conference, and um, I know he has very high expectations of himself, so uh, he was by no means satisfied, even though, you know, he came out with the victory on, on Saturday. Uh, you know, he has high expectations of, you know, what he wants to do this season and during his time here, so uh, he's been great for our group. Uh, he's uh, brought, you know, a different mindset, I guess. Um, you know, he comes from a little bit of a different culture, and uh, you know, he's performed at a very high level uh, over there in England. So, uh, we've been, it's been a joy to have. On the women's side of the track, Emily Hansen and Whitney Hansen again on the podium this weekend. What did you see from them in the second week of competition? Uh, Emily, this was uh, similar to uh, Chase. This was her primary event this week, and last week we ran an off event. So, uh, uh, for a freshman to come in and uh, you know, you still always have those nerves, but I think they're a little more heightened when you're when you're a freshman because you're stepping up to collegiate competition. I thought Emily uh, really stuck her nose in it. Um, you know, we talked to her beforehand, and we told her to take a chance, um, you know, and see what happens. And I thought she followed, you know, our directive very well. Uh, I, I thought she put herself in the race, and you know, when she had to put her head down and really compete, she did that. You know, she was seated, she seated fourth and finished third, and that's all you can ask for, you know, in that type of race is to finish higher than you came. And came in ranked. Um, you know, Whitney, uh, she had a good race. Uh, again, it was a 10 second, uh, 10 seconds faster than she opened up last year. So certainly nice to see that you know, progression from year to year. Um, you know, we, we uh, had a few tactical errors uh, in, in, uh, on her part, and we discussed that afterwards. But again, I thought she had a great race. Um, you know, uh, it was a, it was a nice starting point. She's going to move up, you know, in events this year. As last year, she focused a little bit more on the the 800 meters, but we're we're going to move her to the mile a little bit this year. So I thought, uh, you know, she had a good opener, and we're hoping to, you know, now that she's run one, that to progress that as we go from from week to week. And um, right behind her was Linda Perez, a, a freshman, um, right on her tail. So uh, I thought it was a good day for for that women's mile group. Finally, what about Ashley? Yeah, similar to, to, you know, all the other athletes I've mentioned, it, it was more her primary event in the 200 meters and the 60 meters to kind of get a little speed work in. And uh, we just kind of wanted to see where she was at, um, you know, being our second meet, uh, you know, she's put in a lot of really solid work in the fall. So we wanted to kind of see where she stood in the 200 meters, you know, event that uh, I think she's a little bit more excited for than the 400 meters that she ran a week prior. But I thought she competed really well. Um, you know, she got out uh, and really maintained, uh, you know, through the whole race. So I, I was really happy for her. Um, it was nice to kind of see her have uh, that that beaming confidence uh, heading into the race. You know, she's, she's a little more sure of herself, uh, you know, in her primary event. All right. Thanks, guys.